What would you do if you fell in love with someone from a completely different country and culture? How would you cope with the challenges of living abroad, starting a business, facing a pandemic and becoming a parent? This is my story, a 35 years old Canadian who moved to Thailand after meeting his wife on a holiday. I'll share my experiences, insight and lessons learned from my life-changing journey. I came to Thailand in 2018. I always wanted to visit Asia and experience a different way of life. I was amazed by the beauty, diversity and hospitality of Thailand. I felt like I was in paradise. The best thing that happened to me during my trip was meeting my wife. She was still a student in a university in Chiang Mai, studying to be a teacher. We met on a dating app, we started talking and we had an instant connection. A couple days later, we were traveling together. She showed me around her city, introduced me to her family and friends, and taught me some Thai words and customs. She was so kind, generous, and fun to be with. I felt like we knew each other for a long time already and that I had found my soulmate. The hardest part of the holiday was saying goodbye to her. I had to go back to Canada, where I had a job, a house and a life. But I didn't want to leave her, I wanted to stay with her and start a new life together. I had a big decision to make. On the plane, I thought about my options. I could either go back to my old life and try to maintain a long-distance relationship with her, or I could quit my job, sell everything, and move to Thailand to be with her. It was a risky and scary move, but I felt like it was worth it. I had loved her more than anything, and I wanted to be happy with her. As soon as I landed in Canada, I called her and told her my decision to come back in the next month. It's in my second visit that I asked her to marry me. She said yes. I told her about my idea to move to Thailand. Then I went back to Canada for four months to get everything ready. Moving to Thailand was not easy. I had to sell everything and say goodbye to my friends and family. But I decided not to tell most of them because they would not all be supportive of my decision and they would be worried about me. I was sure I was ready, I had a plan. Arriving in Thailand was the best feeling ever. I was reunited with my wife. We rented a small condo in Chiang Mai, right on the side of where my wife teaching internship. Chiang Mai, a city in Northern Thailand, is a vibrant and cultural place surrounded by mountains and nature. We sold bamboo straws, which were eco-friendly and popular among tourists and locals. We had a stall at the market and many stands all over the city. It was a good way to make money and help the environment. In 2020, the world was hit by a global pandemic. The COVID-19 virus spread rapidly and caused lots of death, infection and disruptions. Countries imposed lockdowns, travel bans and social distancing measures. The Canadian Prime Minister asked all the Canadians to come back to Canada and I was scared, so I listened to him. The pandemic was a nightmare for us. Our business was affected badly. We lost all our customers, both online and offline. We couldn't sell our products. We had to close our stall and stop our online orders. I thought it would last only two or three months, but we were separated for 10 months. I had found a job online, but it was hard. I couldn't travel back. On the good side, I had the occasion to spend time with my family, but I was missing my wife. We decided to move to her village, where she was from. It was a rural area, far from the city. She had a big family there, who welcomed us and offered us a place to stay while we were building our house. They had a farm where they grew rice, vegetables and fruits. They also had chickens and pigs. We thought it would be a good idea to live there and have a new experiences. It was a different world from what I was used to. There was no shops, no restaurant, no entertainment. There was only nature, animals and people. 
It was a simple and peaceful life, but the change was so intense that I fell into a depression for the first year. My wife and our vision for the future helped me to go through this situation. I tried to adjust to the village life, but it was not easy. I helped with the farm work, which was physically demanding and I could hardly stand the heat. I learned Thai and Karen language and their culture, which were very different from what I knew. I had some good moments, but we also had some bad moments. I missed my old life, my friends and my privacy. One day I received an email from work. They told me that their contract was over and they laid me off. They said they were sorry and they wished me good luck. At this moment I knew I was in trouble because Goya was pregnant and there is no work for us in and around the village. After almost one year later without any revenues, our vision of the future is threatened and I haven't been able to find work. We chose the village over the city life, a peaceful place in Thailand with my son and wife. We had a vision and a plan for the future, a dream of living in harmony with nature. But life is full of challenges and surprises. We struggle to make money, we face many crises, we wonder if we should give up on our dream, go back to the city where life is not what it seems. We are stressed and tired, but we have faith. We will find a way to create our own faith.